www.usforcars.com The X-Drive 35's six-cylinder engine delivers 300 horsepower and 300 pound-feet of torque, while the X-Drive 28's four-cylinder engine produces a respectable 240 horsepower and 258 pound-feet. All are equipped with an eight-speed transmission. The X-Drive 28's factory zero to 60 mile per hour rating is six seconds. The X-Drive 35 steps it up a notch with a rating of 5.2 seconds. How many SUVs give me that same squirt? When you choose a crossover like the X3 or X4 over an all-wheel drive conventional wagon like the 328 X-Drive, you're doing so because you value ride height over crisp handling. With the added height, a crossover is inevitably going to lean more in the corners. I tested an X4 X-Drive 35 in Melbourne Red Metallic and Ivory White Nevada Leather. It was equipped with the M Sport Package along with the Driver Assistance Package, Lighting Package, Premium Package and Technology Package. The base price? $48,000. With delivery and all the option packages? $61,350. I absolutely love these seats. There's adjustability underneath your thighs. There's four-way power lumbar. There's adjustable bolsters. So if you're coming into a twisty stretch, you can tighten things up a bit so as not to flop about the cabin. Kind of nice. The steering wheel is fabulous, as you would expect from BMW. The touch of the leather, this is something that the Germans do better than anyone else. It just feels so nice. Big, meaty wheel, plenty of padding, bumps in the right places at 2 and 10. Nice notches down at 3 and 9. And you've got some indentations on the back of the wheel towards the bottom. With the paddle shifters, you do not have to shift into manual mode. Just hit the paddle and you can start popping gears on your own. A suite of safety systems are available, including blind spot monitors, lane departure warning, adaptive cruise control, and forward collision warning. The technology package includes a heads-up display which shows miles per hour, cruise control settings, and audio system settings. The center flat screen display is generously proportioned and well integrated into the dashboard. There's no poking at a touchscreen here. The iDrive controller helps you keep your eyes on the road. You'll find 12 volt adapters hidden at the base of the dash, inside the center console alongside the USB input, at the back of the center console, and in the rear cargo area. The center console features a snap-in smartphone adapter as well. The X4 rear seat provides 37.4 inches of headroom and 34.8 inches of legroom. By comparison, the X3 offers 39.1 inches of headroom and 36.5 inches of legroom. Not too bad. Plenty of headroom. Let's call it five fingers. Lots of legroom. Nice cut out in the back seat. It's got a hard back. Nicely padded center armrest with the requisite cup holders. One 12 volt outlet at the back of the console. HVAC controls over speed and temperature. No heated seat standard. If you want heated seats in the front and back, you're gonna go for the cold weather package, which also includes a heated steering wheel. And really, the X4, it was made for cold weather because check this out. If you like to go to the mountains in the winter time and you snowboard rather than ski, this center pass-through, it's huge. This is one of the largest I've seen. Plenty of room for snowboards. Four folks in their gear, you can carry it in here. The X4's cargo area provides 17.7 .7 cubic feet of storage behind the split rear seat and 49.4 .4 cubic feet of storage with the rear seat folded down. While that's significantly less than the BMW X3, which has a total rear cargo capacity of 63.3 .3 cubic feet, with the X4 sloping roofline, you're opting for style over utility. The X4's tailgate, it's one of its strong points. From these nice brushed metal skids to the really cool sliding tie-down system.
The X4 XDrive 28 is EPA rated at 20 city, 28 highway, 23 combined, while the more powerful XDrive 35 is rated just slightly lower at 19 city, 27 highway, 22 combined. I had no problem hitting those numbers as long as I kept my foot out of it. All X4s require premium unleaded gasoline are equipped with 17.7 .7 gallon fuel tanks. This is no mere crossover. That twin scroll turbo 6 under the hood makes the X4 stand out like nothing else. Well, like nothing else except for its polarizing styling. Choosing an X4 over an X3 means you don't want to be confused when you stroll out of the restaurant and can't find your car because that X4 will certainly stand apart from the crowd.